And we're just waiting on the stream to catch up. Yeah. And here we go. Alright, so as you can see, uh, Raikou already has uh, one of the, the game uh, the game lights lit up for his uh, his head start for being in, in winner's bracket. Yep. So a lot of the strategy in hard mode, it's it's more of a of a blitz compared to to hard uh, to very hard and S hard. That requires a lot more coordination and dropping blocks at the right time. Uh, in hard mode, and as you can see, uh, Raikou already finished up. You want to top off the opponent as fast as possible because their cursor speed is very poor, and especially at the very beginning. So if you can top them off really quick. Uh, sub 15, uh, sub 20 second uh, victories are are very optimal. possible. Yeah, they're they're quite optimal when uh, when you know they're you don't need to send that much and they're raising their stack and you you can basically catch them off guard and quick kill them that way because they won't be moving their cursor speed as fast. But as always, you gotta let RNG take the wheel and hope they don't find clears. As with any mode, yeah, and you you still want to go with the the double four, the double four combo because they want to they want they'll still try to clear the lowest block first, but because they're just in hard mode, it takes a lot more time for them to lower that a uh, lowest a uh, four block, and that just that'll pretty often get you the quick kill with just the sheer amount of time they waste. So right now, they're, uh, both of them are already on Misty uh, within about five seconds of each other, honestly. And, oh, unfortunately, Misty gets the gets a clear right away. Uh, once again, sometimes they'll just be unfortunate and they'll have a clear already lined up. And it's even, it's even more important. RNG, I would say, is even more of a factor in hard mode just because of how much time it can waste if they get a clear and... If they get one clear, it's more likely that they can set up another clear from the time it takes uh, for the garbage. Mm -hmm. They might be able to align that. It looks like they're pretty neck and neck for the most part. I uh, stumble uh, about like 10 seconds behind, I'd say. Yeah, Raikou is, uh, Raikou is about 15 seconds into Surge and... Did he send enough here? Oh, he not quite. Oh, there's the last block, and that's probably going to be it. Yep. And it is. And we're, uh, and I think Stump, well, he gets the lower clear, but is he going to get the upper clear? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they're still about 10 seconds apart. Yeah, uh, Raikou is is uh, on Erica, about 13 seconds in, mm -hmm. and I think he's going to get the kill here, yep. he does. Okay. You can see this is very rapid fire, uh, much more reliable than, than V-Hard and S-Hard. Like, in hard I... mode... Oh, what was that? What were you going to say? I was going to say, um, for those who are trying to get into running this game, hard mode is probably the most the most fair to run for new runners, simply because you don't need... If you're not used to chaining as much, you don't need to sit, send as much, so you don't have to worry about that kind of pressure, about making sure you need to send enough or not. Oh, geez. <laughs> Erica missed an easy clear on Raikou's side, and that's going to give him the victory. You mean Maybe. Yoga? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just fixated. I, I just, it's okay. I have, not, I have nightmares about Erica, so she's <laughs> on my mind sometimes. <laughs> All right. We're going up to the... Uh, we're going up to Sabrina, also tied for the worst waifu with all the other waifus. And I... Uh, uh, Stump gets the clear here, so... But it, it seems like Raikou, he's gaining a few seconds on each stage, and that's that's uh, slowly accumulating up to uh, about a half a stage lead right now. Mm 
Yeah, so Raikou gets the win on Sabrina in 20 seconds. She's getting pretty consistent time so yeah, far. Yeah, definitely pulling off that consistency that he's been showing. And, yeah, Stump, oh, Stump is probably going a little overboard with that 7 chain there. But maybe he got a bit he... greedy. Uh, he got it though. She almost found that four combo clear. Honestly, it, it's really important in hard mode to like don't send too much. Yeah. Because if you, especially if you're grinding for like a really good time, mm -hmm. if if you're losing just like two or three seconds on each stage by chain too much, that's gonna add up to like a yeah. good a good thirty plus seconds over the entire course of the run. And, and seeing how the a good time, I would say, is under 10 minutes. Uh, that's that, that 30 seconds means a lot. And... <laughs> I'm just going to look at the chat here a moment. It's a little harder to do because I have to look at my phone for it. And... Oh, I, I have it popped up on a separate screen to the side. Oh, I need to. <laughs> I need to figure out how to do that. Uh, can you can you respond to chat comments then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. They're they're basically talking about making like bold predictions about who's gonna win this. Yeah, most, it seems like most most people have Rai Raiko as their their favorite here. Oh, but oh, I th oh, they're they're tied now though yeah. because Raiko had a really bad Tracy. Forty two seconds in hard is pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, not oh, like, not bad, but you know, frustrating. Like a uh, FFR said, uh, sub nine runs are probably really rare for this game for hard mode. Yeah, sub sub nine in hard is like the is like a sub twenty S hard equivalent. Yeah. Yep. I, I'd say I'd say that that about equates to. I, I, what it I think we I think we've only had like four sub nines. I don't remember exactly. I'm not currently looking at the leaderboard, but a nice quick kill on Rocket. Correcto. Yeah, we're, we're getting to the point where, ah, unfortunately, uh, Rocket gets to clear on stump side. We're getting to the point where the AI is getting noticeably better. Like, now they can get a... It's more likely they'll get a couple clears. They're still really slow, but they're not, like, hideously slow yeah. like they are at the beginning. And this is usually in the later game. This is where runs come to die, just because the AI um, can be a lot better. According to uh, Thomas, aka FFR Pro Twenty One, only three people have a sub nine hard PB. I'm gonna guess cards, Montucky, and maybe FFR. I think FFR got one like a couple months ago. Yeah. Yeah, we can see that uh, Giovanni got the clear on on uh, Raikou's side, uh, but he's gonna get the crush kill after yeah. that clear. Very nice. And I think Stump should have it. Can he get that? Oh, he's he ruins the Giovanni misses the yellows, and that's gonna give him the clear. So we are we're getting to the final stretch, and we are without within about a. About half a stage, third of a stage lead for Raikou. Mm -hmm. Oh, apparently Cards had two sub nines. Oh, the group round. an eleven on Richie. Oh, oh my God, that's a that's a gift from the AI right there. Yeah, he just made a huge a huge column. And, and I think we're gonna. And we got the cloister. Oh, and a fourteen for Stump. Yeah, fortunately, uh, uh, Richie died yeah. one swap before getting the clear. Can we get some cloisters in the chat, please, for Lore <laughs> for Lorelai? <laughs> cloister. I'm more partial to Dugong though, because he says he says dung dung dung, which means poop. Well, and yeah, that's, that's funny. Oh, Laurel, I guess, to clear on on Raikou's side, and that's just one of those cases where the blocks were conveniently aligned. And she gets another conveniently aligned clear, and she's going to set up another clear right here. 
So, but typ th typically there's no reason to ever reset in hard mode. Eventually they're gonna die once they run out of convenient clears. Everybody's talking about beating cards and races. <laughs> <laughs> I figure I'd, I'd I figured I'd chime in. <laughs> that that is the the holy grail. I mean, cards is my least favorite person in the world. <laughs> <Out>. <laughs> Just because he thinks he can be so good at this game and get perfect runs all the time, he says he gets bad runs, and I've seen them, but I don't believe him. Tell uh, that tell that to Flaggle, San. <laughs> yeah, flag. Oh man, uh, lower the flag. Rako's got about a stage lead here. We'll see if he can <laughs> he, he can wrap up this game one. Oh yeah, there's no Mewtwo in hard mode, mm -hmm. so Gary is the the final challenge. And I hate Gary because he's he spoiled my my pretty well assured sub nine run. So. Uh, Raikou is trying to top him off, and usually a Gary, you get to the point where you need to send a lot more because he's gonna, he's actually gonna do stuff with his blocks at the beginning. He's not just gonna raise the stack and then derp around. But this is gonna be it. It looks like there we go. And, and game Raikou, one, game one goes to Raikou. Yeah, he wins by by one stage. So this is gonna be a, a really good uh, set of matches, but. Uh, like we said, Raikou now only needs to win one more because he gets yeah. that one stage winner's advantage. Uh, he finished with an 11.32. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's really good, especially... Like, we talk about like what some of the like elite times are, but mm -hmm. if, if you're if you're just practicing this or if you're learning this for the first time, like don't get discouraged no, uh, by those all. numbers. Just Just keep focusing on beating your own time. And, and and getting better, and and stump gets there. We go twelve seventeen. Yeah, so that that uh, Raikou was beating stump by about an average of two seconds per stage in the early going, and that really like gave him the edge there. Yeah. Right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be rooting for for Stump in the next one because I want I want to get maximum stages. Everybody wants more puzzle action. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't had a ton of uh, best of three off. We we really haven't. Often. So now we're just gonna wait for the runners to to suit up in the race channel. Yeah, explaining the uh, rules of the stipulations of why Raikou has two two Pokeballs lit up. Thank you, chat. All right, glad we got that taken care of. So, I mean, it, it looks like this is probably going to come down to RNG. It looks like both runners executed uh, about as well as you could expect. I mean, there yeah. are some instances where... Uh, they probably could have chained a little bit more or, or sent uh, a few more combos. Or sent less in Stump's case from time to time. Yeah, and, and typically, like at the very beginning, you want to go just double four into a four chain, and that'll yep. be enough. And then after that, you, can start, yeah. you can start sending some more, like just in case. Yeah. As reassurance. And here we go. Game two. All right, game two. I'm... I'm blown away by how fast these are because I've been so used to the V-Hards and S-Hards, which are like... Shane and I took like an hour and a half for I, our match. Yeah, I, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you there. Alright. And it looks like uh, Raikou just sent a... He gets Ooh, a 12 second. He sends, nice. exa he sends exactly as much as he needs. And ah, oh, geez, Gary got the clear on stump side, and that on Gary, that, and he gets the mid air clear. And typically, clears just come down to just the AI getting blocks in the right spot. It doesn't really come down to the AI being good. So Raikou getting off to a bit of bit bigger of a lead. 
than he did in, in uh, round one. Uh, so we'll see if, if Stump can make up some time here, but Raikou is, is not relenting, getting a 16 second on Brock. Ooh, one more line, Stump. One more line. Yeah, the the, the AI might be really... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Misty ver topped out at the very top. She, she dies to her own column. Oh, wow. Uh, blocks. No, Brock died to oh. his own column. Oh, yeah. Pardon me. Uh, meanwhile, looks like Raikou's probably going to get the kill here. On Misty. She's just Misty, wasting time. Misty, and yeah. this just this just infuriates me as a hard runner because every second counts in, in hard. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like in V hard, in V hard and S hard, you really don't care. You're happy if you get something relatively quick without resetting, but in hard, you want to get like when you're going for those really good times, you want to get like 15 seconds or whatever every time, and those those clears can waste like an extra. Two or three or five seconds. All right, making it past Misty. Surge finding some clears. But I, I don't know why Surge is not. There we go. <laughs> Surge just swapped around a few panels for some reason before going after the column, and that prob that definitely saved Raikou a little bit of time. I think it was him trying to clear that lower block. Which he did. Oh, okay. Because that's that tends to be how the AI behaves: is them scanning for the lower blocks usually to find okay. clears for those. Okay, some should get the clear here shortly. All right, the uh, surge wasting wasting time. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Finally gets to win, but those those clears probably cost him about eight seconds or so. But Raikou does not have. Well, now now he has uh, he has Erica topped off. Oh wow! I, I thought <laughs> that that purple was gonna fall, but she just swapped it to the other end and ran this, out of time. This AI is even more confusing than the S hard and V hard AIs. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far, but. <laughs> Uh, KSS, I I don't know if Raikou plays on N64 or not. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, uh, I'm sure someone in the chat can maybe chime in on that. So Stump getting the kill on Erica, and she and uh, Stump is almost a stage behind at this point. Uh, just as Raikou gets the kill on Koga. So the AI not doing. Not doing Stump any favors. Because I'm sure he's rooting for uh, Raikou to get the, the worst AI possible. Yeah, that's kind of what you want out of these matches, is for your opponent to get the bad luck instead of you. Yeah, luck is... it's a it's a huge factor. It's a huge factor in this game, yeah. Alright, so Sabrina's topped off, and she gets a couple clears but she's going to go down in 18 seconds. Uh, just as Stump uh, takes down Koga, but but uh, Raikou is is building up his lead yeah. just by several seconds every stage. Yeah, he's, about, he got, he's got about a stage lead now. And it looks like Raikou is doing a good job of, of getting a modestly sized, a modestly sized chains with combos worked in, and, and that can remove your need to, to chain more. He's having problems sending enough to Blaine right now, though. Yeah, it looks that... like he. I think he went for a swag chain there and, and didn't mm -hmm. quite get it. Yeah. And, so uh... this could be. This could be a, a stump's chance because he's probably if he can get like a good kill, he'll gain a a good maybe uh, ten seconds or so. Yeah. So he's uh, I, I I don't know if our runners are are screen watching, but you gotta wonder if stump is becoming anxious at all. Yeah, Raiko pretty much dumped a bunch of combo garbage on Blaine and he died. Oh my! I noticed. 
There we go. All right, so he will gain about 15 seconds yeah. because, but uh, he's still going to have to build on that. Oh, geez, and Tracy's really lowering the stack. But, uh, oh, he, uh, and finds Tracy the finds the clear. Yeah, Trollsy is Trollsy no matter what mode you're playing on. Mm -hmm. That's a definite. There we go. All right. All right, so let's let's Should see if that's there. Can, see if Stump can get another quick kill, and he there we is. go. So he is he's making a little bit of progress here. Probably about fifteen seconds behind at this case. I'd say about ten. No, less than that. Well, it does take some time to like get ahead of the the cutscene right. and such. I don't. It, that's about maybe like fifteen seconds. Oh, oh a twelve. 12? Yeah, Jeez. once one slot before the clear. So not doing stump any favors. But uh, oh, geez, Rocket has those greens. Oh, Rocket did have those greens lined up, and then they messed it up. And is it gonna get the clear? No, yeah. it does not. But he's still gonna lose ten seconds on that to to fork. Or to, to, to force to, what is to Raiku. Raiku. I don't know. They both have K's in their name, alright? It's a very distinct letter. God, Raiku just rampaging through these guys. 15 seconds on on Giovanni. Yeah. <laughs> Two fork. I think Forky is too Forky, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, he needs to be more CC Spoony. He, he needs to be. He needs to maybe mix up his his uh, silverware. But but Giovanni gets to clear right away on yeah on a uh, stump side. And uh, okay, what a stretch! <laughs> what a stretch! <laughs> Seventeen seconds for Raikou on Richie. So this nice. is rapid pace. Yeah. And, oh my goodness, Stump just Stump getting cleared on again and again. He's going up on 50 seconds now, and that's a, a really bad time to get in in hard, unfortunately. And Giovanni's still going. Yeah, you really can't rely on the AI to troll as as much as as possible, because in hard you can probably rely on AI to maybe waste like 20 to 30 seconds, but compare that to like B hard or S hard where the AI can waste like there we a go. minute, can waste minutes on your opponent. But uh, this Lorelei is going on 25 seconds and Lorelei might be able to set up a series of clears here. Yeah, nope. Not on, nope, not on this one though. Because usually- here? You, uh, usually no, they don't see no second, second tier, tier in, in S hard. Yeah, so Stump about a stage and a half behind now, and for, and Raikou only has two more stages left to go. And Stump in the process of topping off Richie. There we go. Is it enough? Oh, no. oh he gets a clear though. And for some reason, my phone's voice detection is just turning on automatically. <laughs> so, let's see if Richie will, will just do his job and fail. He gets nope. the clear! Oh my goodness, yeah. that is... There we go. <laughs> Alright, so luckily, that didn't waste too much time, but it does look like uh, Raikou is going to put this one away. Yeah, Raikou's on a pace for a really good finish here. Yeah, he's, uh... Let's see if he can get, like, a, a, a sub-11 here. Yeah, I don't know what his PB is, but it's it's looking pretty solid. He's going to have to send a lot to Gary, though. Look at how much Gary's... Well, now he's lowering his stack. Okay, oh. this should be this should be plenty. Plenty, yeah. Raikou go... But is. Gary's gonna find the oh, the clear Red, though. So. Yeah. This is 14, gonna take a long 14, time. Fourteen Lorelei on stump side. All right, let's let go. Let's see if if Gary gives him a, a big troll job because Raikou did He's send over like yeah a really big chain, and that's gonna give Gary more time to set up the clears. Ah, oh, but he doesn't. 
Ah, he's wasting time. Ah, he finds a mid-air clear. Jeez. And he's gonna be able to keep... Still going. Still goes up. And now Raikou is... Oh, I was gonna say he had the top. He has the top Gary off again, but looks like he did. And I think that's gonna be it yeah. right here. Yeah, there we go. There it is. All right, uh, Raikou, the winner of yeah. the Redemption's finals. All right, so Raikou is now redeemed in the eyes of the community, and Stump's gonna be kicked out, unfortunately, just like the rest of the Redemption participants. They've all been kicked out of the. That's how this works, right? <laughs> This is like this is re this is redeeming yourself in the eyes of the community. Uh, however, as I mentioned at the beginning, we are not quite finished yet with this puzzle puzzle action because we have a v a special V hard exhibition race showcase between Stump and Raikou. Yeah, that's gonna be really fun because that's mm -hmm. gonna be uh, for people for people still learning. Uh, People still learning PPL. V hard is like it's a big jump to make from hard to V hard. So we're gonna see a, a nice exhibition match here, and we should get a little longer uh, of time because V hard can V hard can go well above half an hour. So we're still yeah. gonna get some more fun puzzle action. And are are they gonna be setting up a, a race? Or, or, or is it just an exhibition? I'm not quite sure. I just want to see if we can uh, like watch them in the race channel and know when they'll be getting started. Yeah. Forky, would you know if you're still around? Okay. Okay. So I will be monitoring the SRL chat for when this race will be starting. But uh, Raikou, so Raikou is going to win the, the redemption bracket with an 11.23. A very solid times for both of our runners. It, it looks like Stump just got a little worse RNG than Raikou, and that just made all the difference. Because both our runners executed very well. Yeah, absolutely. I saw a handful of drop chains, but that's going to that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. like, like, regardless. Definitely uh, GG's to both players. Well done. Alright, so... Alright, it looks like we're setting up the race channel for our uh, Exhibition V-Hard. And uh, to pass the time, why don't we all uh, discuss our favorite season of Pokemon? <laughs> I have not seen any season besides like a few episodes of season one, so that's my favorite by definition. Uh, there's a lot of seasons I don't remember, to be perfectly honest with you. Well, I was I was a Digimon kid. Let's just talk about how Digimon the anime is is way better than the Pokemon anime. <laughs> it, well, it's true. The whole thing was that Pokemon had better games than Digimon, but Digimon was a better show than Pokemon. I mean, you're not wrong. All right, but we're counting down, so we'll pick up this right. uh, discussion in a separate stream. Yeah, um, or not in a stream. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I think people want to hear us to, uh, debate. Because I have... Tay, 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 <laughs> Tay, you need to calm down. I think you need to calm down. <laughs> all right, we're starting. Yeah, all right, so uh, when we start uh, V-Hard... Uh, we're going to have strategies a lot similar to, to hard because yeah. the first half AI is still pretty slow. Maybe just a tad slow, uh, a tad faster than hard. So they're just going to be trying to, uh, to do the uh, the double fours and then topping them off as much as possible. Yeah, so, typically, but... yeah typically you want to do the double four into a five chain for V-Hard. Yeah, you want to send a little more. Because they're sometimes uh, they they will clear their stack a lot more yes. compared to the hard. As we can see, Gary went all the way down to like level three, and he's already getting a couple of clears of his own. Nice uh, typing, Forky. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's very clackety clack. Yeah. 
All right, so Raikou taking down Gary in under 40 seconds. Meanwhile, Stump is uh, t still trying to top Gary off. And you always have to be vigilant. And he's going to get the... Oh, he's going for a 7, 8. Uh, all right, so 8 should be good. We'll just have to see. Gary gets to clear on the 4s. And there we go. He goes down in a minute. Uh, Raikou going to work on Brock, and he goes up to seven. Uh, probably a little more than they need to at this stage. And uh, Brock is going to go down in 25 seconds on Raikou's side. And uh, I'm seeing in the chat that uh, Raikou has, might have a little more uh, V-Hard practice than, than Stump. We have seen Raikou grinding V hard. Ooh, oh, 13 Brock. Dude, that's a nice quick kill. Textbook Fantastic. quick kill right there. So Raikou's lead cut down to about a stage and a half, roughly. Uh, uh, half a stage. Yeah, half a stage. Uh, uh, Misty probably about to go down here. Doesn't have any obvious clears. Yep. And 24 go. seconds on Misty. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what Stump can do. Looks like she's he's uh, still having a hard time topping her off. Still not enough there. Okay, she's topped off now, and that's a twenty-one go. seconds. Very good. Right. So we are seeing a lot of the same strats as hard, and uh, uh, Raikou sends a, a five chain to Surge, but not nearly enough because Surge did not raise his stack very much, or he got he cleared down, and so now we're just gonna have to wait for Surge to get topped off, and I think this yeah, will top him right. off, but he immediately found a clear and another clear. He's clearing the lower blocks though, so. Let's see, for okay. some. Oh, he gets another Wasting clear. Wasting a lot of time here. So Stump. finding clears. There we go. All right, so Stump's going to take the lead here. There we go. Yeah, so Raikou might have might have won the redemption bracket, but if if, if Stump can win this V-Hard, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be cashing in those bragging rights. <laughs> Because if you beat someone just one time in a race, that means that you have you are infinitely better than that person. No, I beat I beat cards once in a race, and so I'm I'm better than cards. So just just forget about all those other races we did that where I got creamed. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Uh, so both Raikou and Stump are on Erica, and I think. Uh, Stump should have a clear, have a win here, yeah, yeah. and uh, Erica trolling, trolling Raikou, going on forty seconds about, and now he's gonna have the topper off again. No, and no. Just as I say that, a huge block comes rolling in. Yeah, he was waiting for that to come down. And there we go. go. All right, so now Stump with about a half a stage lead and. Uh, it looks like he's having a hard time getting things started, though. Yeah. He's really got to send more, too. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to... Have Koga go off here. Uh, he, he probably should have raised the stack instead of clearing that garbage. Yeah. But he yeah is that a, looks fine. Yeah, that looks pretty good with a, a five chain into a, with a six combo. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that might not be enough. Look at how much Koga's lowered the stack. Oh, it's it's barely it's barely even halfway. And Rago retaking the lead here. Yeah, the nice twenty-one second Koga. And I'm I'm wishing my <laughs> Bhards could always be like this. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're dying like hard mode. Let's not let's not talk about my my ten minutes wasted on Tracy when I was racing you. Oh, well, that happens to every Tracy. <laughs> All 
All right, so Raikou, uh, Raikou going to work on Sabrina. And, uh, and nice 18 second kill. Meanwhile, Stump is going on a minute 30 on Koga. Just having a, just having a bad time, and he does not have... All right, does he have a... Does, all right, he hasn't topped off, but he finds another clear, and that's going to that's gonna connect all the blocks. Koga finds another clear. And... He... Is he going to get one more? Let's see here. Wasting time, wasting time. No. Gets the kill in 151, but now... Now Raikou, Raikou needs one more line. Raikou is about a stage and a half lead now. But Blaine's wasting a bunch of time here. He's got to... Oh, I was about to say top him off, but he looks looks good. He's yeah, wasting you, you, a bunch of time, though. He's leaving that column up on the side, which is helpful. Oh, oh now he's not topped off anymore. You always want to go for the overkill. If you have to. I have a better or send a really quick chain if you if you feel yeah. like they're they're clearing too much. Yeah, if if you have a rough idea of how much you, more you need, yeah, uh, you can just send what you need and then go and then start another chain just in case you need to follow up. But now uh, Stump and Raikou are going to be on the same stage, and uh, we'll. As soon as I'll, you say that, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say if Blaine keeps trolling Raikou, but. Uh, Blaine relented as soon as Stump entered the, the ring. All right, so now let's see uh, what kind of what kind of Tracy we're gonna get. Now we're at the point where we start transitioning to S hard straps because uh, now we're at the point where you want to go for the the S hard quick kill where you you uh, you do the double four uh, into a chain and now uh, the AI can can clear out a lot more, like they can go on on big runs. Uh, just like the S-Hard AI. Yep. So that's what our runners are going to be hoping for. And... He gets a, uh, Tracy gets a side clear. Tracy wasting a lot of time. So you're going to... He's, uh, he's going to find those yellows, it looks like. Yep. But... So, uh, what are your reset straps on V-Hard? On V? On v uh, If I fail to send an initial chain that's usually like in the later eight stages that's usually when i'll reset but i'm pretty adamant about not resetting stages too much in vhard personally because you think there's a high enough chance that the ai will will screw up within yeah. a reasonable time yeah you, you typically can rely on that even in the later stages like even on mewtwo like you he's not gonna like take you on for like 15 minutes potentially like you can in S hard so uh, but both Stump and Raikou are just having the, the classic troll see here uh, both going over a minute so far like even during my tournament matches I would pretty much sit there and stonewall the opponent expecting them to die but uh, Raikou with a reset as soon as I say something. Yeah, I, I want to say that, like, once... If it looks like they're, they're like, on a roll, and they don't, they're don't, they still pretty high on blocks, that's, like, a decent time to reset. Dude, Stump just sends, like, a huge chain. There and, we and go. That's, that's... And he's caught up. Taking the lead again. Right, so he's going to take the lead in our, our bragging rights finals. And this might be it for Tracy on Raikou's side, and it is. So much better 23 seconds. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to call this other than the bragging rights to the Grand Finals. And it's just a fun V-Hard. Right. This is, like, this is just like a friendly race, just televised or mm -hmm. streamed. Or actually, this is on ESPN, so we're going to have to cut for a, a commercial break pretty soon. Ha! <laughs> No, no, we don't have to do that. Yeah, we're going to need both runners to pause for the commercial break. <laughs> but uh, Stump maintaining a lead here with a nice 21 on Rocket. Oh, and Raikou? Uh, Raikou not quite sending enough, but 
he gets the kill anyway because Rocket raised. And he also gets 21 on Rocket. Yeah, so we're going to be look, uh, stump with roughly a half stage lead, maybe a third stage lead. But now you can really see the AI going to work at this point, doing things that are almost up to S hard. And Stump sending a, a nice little little gift box to, to Giovanni. And Giovanni getting to clear right away. Ah, and if Raikou could have sent that a little early, that would be perfect. But Giovanni having time to raise his stack and, and give himself plenty to work with. And Giovanni gets the full clear. Uh, right as Stump gets the kill in 47 seconds, so he's going to be moving on to the Elite Four with a, a maintaining his uh, roughly half-stage lead. Uh, Stump, or Raikou is getting kind of low on blocks. He has, he finds a clear with those yellows. Oh, and, and is this going to be it for Giovanni? He, is he going to find second tier? No, he... doesn't look like it. All right, Raikou takes down Giovanni, and that's going to put him uh, even with Richie. And Richie is uh, on stump side is not nearly topped off, so um, Stump's going to have to go to work topping him off here, and sends a nice, nice seven FG chain. Seven, yeah. So let's see. Uh, yeah, Richie's probably yeah, gonna find the green. Yeah, find yeah. the greens there. Yeah, AI is really going to town now. Ooh, Raikou sent a, a really good, a lot to Richie. Ah, not quite topped off though, and he had that instant clear anyway. So it looks like Stump is doing a good job keeping the pressure on Richie, and it's only a matter of time before like he messes up. Yeah, I guess to clear on Stump's side, Raikou looks like is <laughs> every time I say they're having a hard time topping him, like they drop like the biggest chain <laughs> ever. Ah, but still, still not quite enough because if. Even if you send something like a six chain, if you don't have combo garbage along go. with it, if you don't have combo garbage along with it, and the AI is six chain is only going to take up yeah, uh, Ri like, Richie, like five spots. Richie got super greedy there with Raikou with a seven chain. He's just going ham on them right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, you want to be relentless with this Oh yeah, this is uh. This is, uh <laughs> As as I love to call him. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite. <laughs> I'm <laughs> glad who, everyone likes it. Who is Richie, even? Like, he has all the... He he probably is just, like... We need a new character, but I don't want to, like, work to make a nice, good character. It's like, well, what if you just take Ash and make him from... Who make knows him where, where, because no, no, it's never told. And just make him have the same Pokemon, but with different nicknames. <laughs> there you go, Richie. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Richie was my favorite in Pokemon Red. Yeah, All you right. know, my, my favorite was uh, was uh, Silver. He was in that game, right? Silver. <laughs> the, ri the rival in Gold and Silver. Oh, shit. He totally was. Uh, both our runners right now are going to... I am uh, not having the best of luck at the moment. Uh, Lorelei getting the clear on stump side, uh, but Lorelei on Raikou's side is pretty low on blocks, so it's just going to be a matter of uh, keeping her topped off and waiting for her to make a mistake. And, and like we said, you can rely a lot more on the V-Hard AI to to screw up, but as I say that, Lorelei gets the banned second tier clear, and Raikou is just so frustrated he's going to restart. And I'm sure he just flipped his table over at home. That's what people do. <laughs> that might be what you do. 
I don't have a my my table my computer is is set up on a ping pong table in our basement. <laughs> Fantastic. So I can't even I can't even flip our table. But uh, Stump is moving on to to Bruno, and I think this. Uh, we'll see if Lorelai will get the clear on... Yeah, she's going to find those reds there. Stump having a hard time topping off Bruno. And Bruno is sending over a lot of garbage on his own. So uh, Stump has to try to balance keeping this garbage in check and sending over uh, enough to top off Bruno. Uh, but what I typically do is, like, I if I don't have to focus on the garbage, like, I won't. I will exclusively go for uh, topping off the opponent. Because by chaining, you're going to lower your stack, which will sort of take care of the garbage a little bit by bringing it down. <clears throat> so as I say that, Raikou oh. is moving on Bruno. And one more line for Stump on Bruno. Pardon me. Yeah, be because uh, because Stump is, is locked in this battle with Bruno, it doesn't have him topped off. Our runners are about even at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I don't... Is this going to be a... Is, is Raikou going to get a nice quick kill here with that, that four perfectly aligned? No. no. <laughs> he, he clears the whole thing. He aligns those fours and gets the clear. And if I were Stump, I would consider a reset because he's just having uh, such a hard time getting something going. Not not something by, nearly enough. By this point, when you're two minutes in, I wouldn't even bother. I mean, unless you know you're about to die. I there can see go. that. I uh, no. Franco's taking the lead. Back. Yeah, so on V-Hard, uh, we do have two more stages left, because there is Mewtwo in V-Hard. Yep. The, uh, the real Puzzle Master, of where it's not actually yeah. a it, it wasn't a, just a dream at all. Yeah. Dude, my- I, I- I think the Mewtwo fight in- in this game, it really pays homage to the first Pokémon movie. Yeah. The, the, the climax, where Ash and Mewtwo have the puzzle battle. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just a faithful recreation. Ah, oh, jeez. This is Bruno right now. Oh my god, and Gary there lines up go. the fours. No, never mind. Come on, get... No! Jeez, Bruno. Three minutes on B-Hard is just unreasonable. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, so... Ooh, we might have a crush. No. Unfortunately, Gary able to find those purples on Gary's side, and now he's going to go to work on the rest of the garbage. My poor, um, poor, oh, my poor, my Stump, poor. Oh, Stump needs to be careful here. Oh, he's not top. Yeah, he is top. No. Sometimes the colors blend in. It's a little hard to tell. My poor, poor PTSD is triggering right now with this Bruno. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bruno, just stop. Stop tr trolling our inner nature. Stump needs to be careful here. Oh, he finds his only clear. There we go. Finally. Oh, that was right. I was, I was looking at right. That was actually Raikou, not Stump. All right. Now they're about a stage apart. But if, uh, uh, keep in mind, if you lose to Mewtwo, you have to go back to Gary too. For those who don't know. Yeah, so if if so Raikou gets if Raikou point gets point caught off guard, he he could get topped off and, and get crush killed if you if you swag out too much. Because Mewtwo definitely definitely capable of topping you off even in B hard. Uh, Stump sending a doing a good job sending uh, garbage to Gary, and no, uh, not quite topped off, and he finds a clear. Stump having a hard time finding something going. Meanwhile, Mewtwo gets a clear on on a Raikou side, and that's going to connect his blocks. Uh, now he's not topped off anymore, but Raikou is now going to be sending an, an 8 chain. 
Oh man. Raikou. He's gonna need to send it a little more. Well, I think when Mewtwo's done clearing this, he's gonna have a lot coming down. So that might... Yeah, it looks like it. But Mewtwo instantly gets to clear, so going on one minute on Mewtwo. Uh, meanwhile, uh, does Stump have garbage? Stump doesn't even have garbage coming on Gary. Like, he is... Stump is in total defense mode. And this is one of those scenarios where I would... Oh, there it is. <laughs> is that going to be enough? No, not not nearly enough. Uh, this is one of those instances where I would consider... A, oh, why is this garbage coming, like, like staggered? Anyway. Things are looking a little better with Mewtwo on Raikou's side. He is pretty... There we oh, go. that's going to do it. So Raikou wins... The it Redemption is. Bracket, and the more important bragging rights. The more important bragging rights, yes. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think that's quite a PB for Raikou, though. What was his... Oh, his PB is uh, 2045. Alright, so... Uh, uh, Raikou's asking if he can come in for an interview. Do we want to wanna wait uh, for... Yeah, we're going to wait for Stump first. Yeah, we'll wait for Stump to finish, and then we'll see if they both want to come in. Yeah, because I, I know I know Forky uh, messaged letting us know uh, about the interview. Okay. So yeah, after... Oh, uh, after... Stump dies! Oh no! We're gonna... Oh, that was actually Raikou's second fastest time, so good for him. Yeah, nice. Nicely done. That's still a very good time. So, uh, we're gonna, is, is, uh, Stump's gonna keep going, it looks like. He's yeah. only two stages from the end, so I don't, I you, don't see you, why. You might ends. as well, I mean, tournament's over. Just finish it out. Put on a good show for the people. Yeah, give the people what they want, and they might, <laughs> they might, they might spare you. They might. <laughs> uh, are us bloodthirsty puzzle general members. They're not right. that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stump's gonna have to uh, send some more here. Oh, he's got something nice going. Uh, a f he sends a, a nice lag four chain, but he's gonna have to do a little more. Uh, Gary, Gary barely topped off, and now he's not topped off anymore. Yeah, you always want to go for fives when you can, because those fives don't double up on, on the same line like fours do. Unfortunately, Stump is just consistently being one line short, so... If, if, if I were him, I would... I would raise the stack and give himself a lot more to work with, but I'm wondering if he's if he's worried about dying and wants to give himself some more room. Gary's leaving a nice little ah. Uh, if he would have dropped the four, that would have fallen all the way down to the bottom. And Gary's still. See, I would consider a reset here because now Gary isn't really close to. Oh, another! Hence... Wow, this is really unfortunate. Oh, jeez. He's still going though. Good for him. Yeah, Not he might as well get him down. Might as well truck it out. Yeah. Meanwhile, how are the Cubs doing? Stupid <laughs> Cubs. All right, whatever. Cubs are dumb. Uh, back. <laughs> Not as dumb as this Gary though. I made that transition flawlessly. Gary going all the way down, though. Ah, and... Is that gonna... Come on! Come on, send more! No! Dang. There... Okay, there we go. That's there the kill that we all wanted. Oh, Algernon's a, a, uh, an Indians fan. I am... I'm sorry about that. Indians have been on some pretty bad luck lately. They blew a 2-0 lead against the Yankees in the first round, and that's even worse because it was the Yankees. 
But uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what f uh, if Mewtwo's gonna end up being free. Uh, fortunate. It's like he's having a, a hard time topping off Mewtwo. And don't make sure you drop your stack, Stump. Okay, there you go. I had to make the generic comment of what is sports ball. <laughs> what is sports ball? Forky is a Reds fan. <laughs> Forky had that, or the Reds had that one good, they had a glimmer of hope in 2012. Until the the Giants just made that epic comeback. I'm going to win. Uh, meanwhile, right. still, some needs a few more lines to top off Mewtwo, but it, look, it doesn't look like Mewtwo has any more garbage coming for Stump. Going so yeah. he's going to get, he's going to get a nice chance to, uh, to get something going. But in He's not getting the best block arrangement right now. And I would say if there's one area Stump could like really improve his game, it's probably focusing more on topping off the opponent rather than uh, clearing the garbage. Oh geez, this is... Okay, so Stump finds a clear there. Things did not look good for him for a little bit. And now we're just gonna... We just have to wait for Mewtwo to get topped off. I'm going to win. And unfortunately, just Stump having a hard time doing that. Mewtwo is sending over a, a, a lot more garbage than I would expect. Okay, this is looking pretty... Got a 5 chain. Alright, 5 chain. Now we're starting another one up to 3. Mewtwo... Just denying him with the instant clear, though. And now Stump is back on the defensive with Mewtwo sending a, a lot more garbage on him. But he, Stump isn't quite topped off, so that's good. But now Mewtwo is going to have a, a six chain coming over. Oh, no. This is right. not good for some. No, come on. Get those down. Get those blue. Get, there you okay. go. Awesome. It was close. Oh, I don't think... Oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. Stop no. living on the edge, and there's there's no resetting here. Ugh. And the, 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 the stack is going to be raising a lot. No. Oh, okay, he gets it. He gets that clear. All right, come on, you two. Just, just, just mess up for once. And I think... Probably I think... drop this chain here. Yeah, that's pro that's still probably not going to be quite and eh, we'll see. All right, so Mewtwo's topped off now. No, uh, not quite. Not anymore. We're going on three minutes of Mewtwo, and as as the game goes on, that your stop time gets gets shorter and shorter. So now yeah. we're getting uh, there is a. Uh, a high risk, a higher risk of, of stump dying now. Unfortunately, with how long this match has gone on. Unfortunately, oh, I come on, stump, find second tier. Oh, second tier disappears. God, this Mewtwo is is being relentless. Okay. Yeah, and typically, like, ah, oh, come on, stump. Bring those down. Clear. There, there we go. go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez, Mewtwo. Well, at least Mewtwo is giving him a, a lot of combo garbage right. to ch chain with, and yeah, that's a lot more coming. Come on, drop it. Okay, get the clear. Is that still not enough? Mewtwo is just just finding the perfect balance of sending garbage and leaving himself with enough blocks. Yeah. But but this is gonna be another. Another five chain he's sending over. Uh oh. Oh no. Come on. Oh, oh he, accidentally, no. he accidentally clears those blue. Drop the. Okay. okay. <sighs> oh my goodness. Is this. Yes! There we go. It. Finally. <laughs> oh. That was. To everyone that likes League of Legends, that was way more exciting than League of Legends. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so unfortunately, Savage. that Savage. That <laughs> GG. So that Mewtwo stuff. takes up a, a six of 
five minutes takes up a sixth of his total time. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we're going to be bringing in uh, Raikou and Stump for an interview. Yep. So we got we got Raikou in. Well, how's it going, Raikou? Oh, it's going wonderful. Just amazing. Yeah, looking at your match, it looks like your execution was really good today. I didn't. I did not see like many mistakes at all. Oh, not really. Um, I dropped a couple of chains. Um, there were some. There were some stages where I really kind of had to. After I dropped the chain, just spam a bunch of combos and hope it worked, and it did. Yeah, typically in hard mode, you can do that because they're not going to lower their stack down that much. <laughs> So you really only need to send like four or five lines worth, and you've been practicing a lot recently, haven't you? Yeah, I did probably, I think it was the day before yesterday, I did something like 20 no reset runs of V-Hard, and oh my I think God. I had one run that was, I had one run that was worse than a 13. You have, yeah. that's really good consistency. I had, I actually still have the records, the records of it right here. I never actually closed the file that I had it in, so I'll take a look. I had 115, 413s, 512s, 611s, 210s, and a 9. That's excellent. Yeah, any sub 10 is really good. So, uh, congratulations on uh, taking down the redemption bracket and the bragging rights match. Thanks. Sorry to interrupt, but we also have uh, Stump joining us. <laughs> how are you? How are you feeling after those that uh, finals match and the bragging rights oh. be hard match? Uh, I feel like I played really well in all three games, mm -hmm. especially V hard. I played extremely well in V hard. Mm -hmm. What about you, Stump? Uh, I feel. I... I feel like uh, I uh, did what I uh, well, except for the times I wasn't able to keep some of the opponents topped off. I feel like I uh, did all right. I ran into that a couple of times where I'm like, why is this opponent not topped off? I need to send more garbage and hope they don't get a clear. Yeah, sometimes it can be hard to, if you're being pinned down by garbage yourself, it can be really hard to send the, the extra topping that you need but yeah it, it looked like you guys are both executing really well in the the hard mode races it just it looked like raikou just got a little luckier with the rng uh, i will not deny that i got lucky on some of those i think it was um one of the games against bruno i started to i think i started with like a double four combo and then like made a three chain and dropped it but I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Maybe there's a whole bunch of like six and seven combos down there that are one that are one click away from being set up. So I'm like, <laughs> I clear all love... these out and hope it's enough. <laughs> yeah, sometimes a game will give you those those like instant eights or nines or sometimes even tens for for some reason when it generates the blocks and those those are always helpful and in, in hard because that sends two rows if you get an eight or a, a nine or a ten. Yep. All right. Especially in the first game, I, I mean, I feel like one bad round not happening would have made all the difference. Oh, absolutely. Both of those were pretty close. Yeah, the variance in hard can be can be pretty brutal because you know you're shooting yeah. for like sub fifteen or sub twenty every time. So if you get one guy that takes you on for like fifty seconds or a minute, it just kind of ruins the whole run. Yeah, I was. You two are quite on. you two are quite neck and neck when it came to the uh, hard mode races. Yeah, I felt um, I think it was I'm trying to remember which game it was. It was the first one and the second one where I was getting like consistent 20s and 25s and I wasn't happy with it. 20s and 25s on on hard mode on hard. Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty frustrating where I'm not like making big mistakes. It's just the the computer either downstacks a bunch or like, clears, clears your lower, clears yeah. your lower garbage block. Yeah, well, well, once in a blue moon, the AI will just clear down to like the third or fourth row, and then you really need to 
to send more stuff. Well, uh, did, did either of you have uh, anything else on the comment? I'm sorry? Did, did either of you have anything else you wanted to comment? You keep cutting out, Tay. I do? Yeah. Um... Yeah. Am I still cutting out? No. I, I think you're okay now. Okay, that was kind of weird. My internet's my internet's fine, it looks like. Well, I, I said, did, did either of you have anything else you wanted to commentate on? See you yeah. guys in main bracket next tournament. Oh, definitely. We look, we look forward to that. But that's all I really have to I say. Think. I mean, I just... <laughs> I just played I, out, I just played out of my mind and then probably like a half hour before this I got like a 78k in 3D in 3D time zone which beat a PB from like 10 years ago. Oh, that's excellent. Nice. It was it was with a 23 chain and then a 24 chain. So Oh, wow. what was that stump? Nice. I was saying nice to that. Thanks. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like that. that's everything for today. Uh, uh, we're going to be having another match tomorrow. Yep, that one's going to be on, uh, on it'll Speed be, uh, Gaming 3. Yep, it'll be on Speed Gaming 3. It'll be between uh, Flagelstan and Yume. Oh, that'll be a great match. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's I believe, I be I believe Saturday... At nine, no, eight p.m. Forky, uh, will be Forky versus Cards in winners finals. Is that nine? Okay, that'll be on Speed Gaming's channel. And then we have, I believe, Tayman and FFR Pro. Uh, that'll also be on one of the Speed Gaming channels. It hasn't really been confirmed yet, I think. But that'll be Sunday at seven p.m. Eastern. Yeah, uh, uh, st uh, stay up to date with uh, what Speed Gaming channel is going to be on. Like, I don't yeah. think they have like anything on e any of their channels between like seven and ten p.m. So we'll just see. Yeah, just what we get on there. Yeah, just stay just stay tuned and uh, and Puzzle General on Twitter and Discord, and we'll probably keep you guys up to date with what's going on. Then I don't think we mentioned the time for the Sunday one, but I think seven. we set that se seven. Yeah, seven p.m. Yeah. Eastern time, and then. Uh, tomorrow, Yume versus Flag, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Yep. And then Saturday... At 9. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And those are, are going to be on Speed Gaming. Yep. Tomorrow, then, oh, tomorrow oh, Speed also... Gaming, 3. Uh, Saturday, Speed Gaming. And then Sunday, not sure yet. Don't we also have, like, a, a relay? Like, a small relay? Yes, for yes. A, a separate um, event? Yes, uh, I'm gonna pull I, up the the spreadsheet really quick. I believe Forky, Shady Jakey, and Montucky will be playing in that. It's twitch.tv slash Lex Play Live, L E X Play Live, something like that. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna post down a, a link uh, it'll, to our. It'll to be a hard, very hard, and S hard relay race between okay, the three runners I mentioned. And that's going to be at, at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern Time. On Sunday. Yep, Sunday. All right, is there anything else we need to touch on before we send everyone off? I think I'm good. Oh, uh, Forky says we have classic Tetris World Championships on Sunday as well. So mm. we're going to have a, nice. a load of, of puzzle action on Sunday. So pe a lot of people like to watch football, but <laughs> those, those people are dumb. We're going to watch Puzzle Action on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Thank All you right. guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We uh, hope to see you guys again tomorrow for at uh, Speed Gaming 3 for Yume and Flag's race. Or sorry, uh -huh. Flag and... Yeah. Yume. Flag and Yume. I'm mixing people up. <laughs> All, All right. right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take, Take it care. easy.